Alright guys, Hatch Crown here again today. Hope you're doing good and enjoying your day so far. Big drama going down last night in the Seadill vs Warzone tourney. Shotzi's team made the grand final eventually falling short to a surprise winner but also a follow up to the cheating drama that we saw yesterday with Draza. Lots to get into today. Very much interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I greatly appreciate it. First of all, this was confirmed yesterday I believe because if you like text, I don't know, this number or something and you text it the, uh, the map name, it will come back and basically confirm it to you. So um, it seems like, based on the rumours of the last couple of days and what we saw yesterday, that all 16 maps that launched with Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009 will come into this new title. Now, they said again yesterday, oh, this game was always intended to be a full premium release for $70. I don't know if I'm convinced by that. But still, all of these maps will be in the game. And some would say, oh, you know, bring new maps, make better ones. And I get it, but um, I don't have faith the developers can actually do that nowadays and I'd far rather that I you know play and watch being plays some actual decent maps from back in the day and also with these maps you know that they should play well for search because they did play well for search back in the day and for CTF. Hardpoint we don't know I know that some people have looked into these because a few of them have been put already into like COD Mobile and stuff like this and um, there is Hardpoint I think in that so there are some Hardpoint rotations that have already been determined for some of these maps by developers over the years whether that's going to change going into the new game because Harpoint will be played. I'm actually quite hopeful at this point that we get CTF instead of um, Control again, right? Because Control has been not the same ever since. To be honest, Black Ops 4 it was the best with Specialist and 5v5. Since then, it hasn't been the same. Obviously, Infinity Ward didn't even know how to make it, so they had to weird to play Domination in MW19, which was, of course, an absolute shambles. But all these maps are going to be in the game. My question is, like, are these the only maps in the game? Because the recent... Okay, back in the day, the CODs would used to launch with, like, 14, 15, 16 maps like this. And in the most recent games, I mean, what do we get? 10, 11, 12, if we're lucky, right? Because they focus all this on the Warzone stuff and the Ground War maps and making that border crossing map with all the cars on it, absolute shambles. That's that's what they spend their time doing nowadays, and we get far less map sets than actually, you know, we need four or five decent competitive maps. When the game only launches with like 10, 11 maps, it's quite difficult to find anything good. So I'm at least hopeful that with these in the game, you'd think they're going to do other ones as well. And I know that some have said, oh, well, what about some MW2 DLC maps? Could they put those in the game? What about the MW3 maps we saw yesterday, the likes of Sea Town, Arcade, and, you know, Bootleg, and all those classics? Why not bring those back? as well and you know I don't mind that being the case at all I'm just you know I'm down for good maps frankly I don't really care if they're new or old but are these going to be the only 16 maps or are we going to have more because you know if it's a full premium release you got to feel like it feels a little bit lazy just to every map is just you know an old map like I don't mind it necessarily but I feel like more maps the merrier as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, Simp says MW2 remastered maps, Dead Silence, Red Dots, 150 Health, Zombies. I don't know how good the Zombies is going to be. Some of this stuff hasn't been confirmed. Like the Red Dots have been confirmed. The maps have now been confirmed. The Dead Silence and the 150 Health is... Um, the 150 Health is a little bit more controversial. Some said it should be, you know, 125, whatever. But as I say, it's all dependent on the weapon damage anyway. Because it can be 150. But um, it actually might not be crazy if the weapons do a little bit more damage than they usually do so it's like just one more shot to kill than it usually would be which is probably what I would like to see it be to be fair and then dead silence so these things aren't fully confirmed yet but I think we can be pretty optimistic such and we're going to do them because after backlash they added ninja to vanguard after the beta so I'm very optimistic that it'll be in the game here as well so we'll see but a lot of optimism around it and obviously you know optimism you can only be let down when you're optimistic about the game it's gonna what I've learned over these last few years now I wanted to follow up on the Draza cheating this Freezy guy drama from last night because there were finally some clips that actually emerged of this. I know that they were discussing it on stream, but um, it was difficult to find the clips before the boys over at Spawn Up GG or whatever found them and put them on Twitter because it's not like Draza had tweeted any of these. So um, there's a few that looked a bit suspicious. I'll just run through them here. So there's a couple that people were looking at and especially Draza was looking at thinking this guy's dodgy. If you guys missed the story from last night, this Freezy guy, German player, he's been grinding Black Ops 3 for the last like eight years. And uh, so we know everything about the game and um well the pros draza world champion thought that he was cheating and we see this quite often they lose chals to someone they think the guy is cheating is he cheating i don't know people seem to be kind of 50 50 split on this there are some clips so 
This is a little bit interesting for sure. It's a three versus four here, and um, this guy Freezy comes flying around the corner and doesn't even check. Okay, three v four. You're on the flank. Someone's going to be on the tree. Someone's going to be watching the flank. But um, I think he replied to this and said, "Oh, I just wanted to, you know, check the bomb and get the guy off the plant." Which, um, okay, sure, but. Interesting decision for sure to fly around this corner not really check the tree angle and just yeah happen to be aiming right where decimators and kill him here Which um, you know, I don't know interesting It's like it's a one-off clip and it can be explained by other factors Maybe he just made a straight-up mistake and he like meant to check the tree But for some reason didn't and just flew around the corner having to pre-aim exactly where decimate was I don't think that there's anything crazy in this, but it's worth noting I suppose there was also this one that was being discussed as well where he sees the psychosis spots run away and then again, this pre-aim is definitely interesting, and I can't understand why he would do this unless it was a call-out, because he sees the red dots on the minimap here from Decimate on the, the high tree wall run, and he flies out and actually aims very high, which is... You know, we don't know what the comms are. His teammate might have told him, hey, high tree wall run, and then he flies out and looks at it. But, um, you know, without that information, you don't really know because it would be certainly interesting to pre-aim the high wall run here rather than if he, if someone says, oh, he's by the bomb, you'd think he would aim low. So, you know, it's a couple of nuanced kind of things that look a little bit suspicious. I'm not sure from those two clips alone there's anything massively in it. There were some other ones. I didn't see anything anymore, you know, blatant than that. The other thing they were looking at, right, is that... He had 200 kills, 96 deaths over the maps they played on the evening. So a 2KD in Search and Destroy against players of that caliber is very impressive. And Draza was basically saying, like, either that guy's internet in Germany is godlike or the guy's, you know, walling, basically. That was what the implication would be here, that he's got the wall hacks on. But as he then goes on to say, like, these clips are nothing. Like, there's people have said that I've done worse on console before. And, you know, on console, theoretically, you can't cheat. And then he was talking about it and kind of explaining how Draza's ego is above everything right and it does happen with pros they lose to people and they think the other guy's got to be cheating and it maybe he just had a really good day right it's difficult to say but some have said that this guy was like accused of cheating in the past back in the day and like monitor cams uh, like you know camera for the hands and all this stuff like controller cam whatever they call it but what i'm a little confused about in this whole saga is that Dross then comes out and says all right 2v2 3v3 like just get me a chal anyone but freezy i'll play him and um then he says oh you know this guy you're cheating as well and then he replies to freezy and says i do think you're hacking so, um, but then he still, a couple of minutes later, actually plays him in a chal. So I thought this was hilarious, really, that, um, after saying, oh, yeah, this guy's hacking, I don't like this guy, no way I'll play with him, that he plays him in a chal, so him and Liam versus TJ and Freezy. So, I don't know whether he is or not, but, um, if Charles really thought he was hacking, would he actually put money on the line again against this guy again? I don't really know. But that's the update on this story, at least for the time being. Let's talk about the CDL versus Warzone thing, then. Now, as I've said, it's not really CDL versus Warzone, and until apparently the final round where it is going to be CDL players on one side, Warzone players on the other side. Last night was um, 2v2 because it was a kill race tournament and Simp says, hey, get me in for the 4v4. So I believe in, I think it's actually tomorrow on the 18th, the next round of this tournament is going to be search and destroy only, I think, where it's going to be 4v4. So that's the plan. Simp wants to get involved in that. I believe Rated actually said that his team is going to be Aiden, Draza and Abizi for the 4v4 search. So it's kind of like, okay, Rated Rated and Aiden Warzone guys, Draza and Abizi CDL guys. Rated, of course, former, you know, COD pro as well. And Aiden's not bad as well. So, you know, that's a pretty nice team. But that's what it's going to be in a couple of days' time, right? On the 18th, which I'm guessing is tomorrow, based on the calendar I'm currently seeing. So, um, last night, though, was the first of the Warzone things, which is where you get the players in the lobby and you do a kill race. So, two versus two, you drop in, who gets the most kills? There were some crazy, like, moments on this one, to be fair. And I know people were saying, oh, shots, he... this is the thing, the CDL pros, they can obviously shoot straight and Shotzi's movement and everything is crazy and um you know like Shotzi they had some issues right and there was also this one that Shotzi ran into where uh, I think he got run over by his own truck didn't he yes I mean look at this this is a quality faded Shotzi moment that we might have to chuck into our like a next highlight compilation on the breaking point site which might eventually have to happen so fantastic stuff from Shotzi again but um yeah the guy can shoot straight but there's a degree of understanding what things to pick up off the ground and all this stuff that Shotzi doesn't necessarily get nailed but the big drama was really going down elsewhere. So Shifty, a player that I'm not particularly familiar with, was playing with Selly, right? So we talked about Selly, and then we talked about Selly, the female player, and they were teaming up. So it was 
Kelly and Shifty as a duo. I believe they might be dating as well because I think they went for a meal afterwards with their winnings, I imagine. That's pretty cool stuff. But um, anyway, so they were playing against uh, Blast at a time. So Blast, former CD, well, CWL pro. I don't believe he was actually a pro in the CDL days technically. Back in, you know, Black Ops 4 World War II, he was a notable player for sure. And, um, you know, Shifty says, looked up Blast CDL highlights and couldn't find anything. Anyone got him? And then, uh, well, he said the following on stream during the watch party and, um, you know, was absolutely ripping into this guy, Blast. Copy. He is, Billy. Actually, no, he died off right. Maybe good luck, it, sir. That's a weird situation where, yeah, like... Yeah. Is that G's? G's? Yo, Sally, I'm, you, uh, you f***ing up picking up that guy, bro. He's f***ing washed. <laughs> No way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. Crazy. Bro. Oh my. Oh no, bro. Boss check. Get the Yo, clip out now. Told Celium, that guy couldn't even qualify for London, bro. Yo. Oh, Holy he's shit. Still going, he thinks he's being the Don in his territory. That guy couldn't even qualify. Yeah. That guy's horrible. <laughs> horrid. No he's horrid. Way. No way. No Henry, baby. Jesus Christ. Oh, dog no. shit. Damn. Holy. Damn. Holy shit. No. I think I'm up money on him in S and D, and I'm up thousands on him. In I think he just that guy has actually oh, lost out on so much money. No, he's, going. he's pulling out Holy receipts shit. and everything, yeah. bro. He was ready yeah, for this. He's been he's waiting, bro. It's some pretty spicy stuff, to be fair. Plus, he's always an interesting character in the COD scene because when he came in, like, or like Era Eternity or whatever it was back in the World War II days, he was, um, they were so good online and he was one of the only players that is really, because there's not many players in COD history that are really considered to be onliners. And I don't mean to discredit Blast too much because I think he would have been solid, maybe with a bit more time. Or I'm not exactly sure what it was. But for some reason, whenever Blast turned up to land, it just wasn't the same at, at all. And he's one of those players that has kind of gone down in infamy me as being one of the only real onliners, as it were. It just seems that way anyway, whether it's nerves, whether it's just things that happen on LAN, I don't really know. But most players that are good online, they might take some time to turn up to LAN and play well, but usually they will eventually. Blasmini didn't get enough opportunities, or, you know, you guys can give your thoughts on that in the comments below. But he was a notable player for maybe, you know, good and bad reasons at times. And he's become a Warzone guy, went to Rocker, and I think he did this for a couple of years. And then he replies and says, lots of internet thugs out there these days. But the funny thing is with this shifty guy is that I always kind of enjoy when someone talks trash But yet they actually back it up right because fair play to this shifty guy because he actually went on to win the event They matched up with a uh, Shotzi and Biffle in the finals I think that Shotzi and um, Biffle took map one So I think it was it would have been double elimination So they came from the losers bracket I believe so they would have had to win that and then win again But um, they lost in the first best of three with Selly and uh, shifty winning the entire thing so 20k on the line So um, I guess 10k each I suppose so congrats Congratulations to the both of them. Funny in a way, right, how of all the, it was meant to be, you know, CDL Pro Warzone Crater, and um, the one team that wins, actually, you know, she's not a CDL Pro. Obviously, she's a female, very good player, but, um, you know, pretty entertaining, to be fair. And I know there was some drama as well about potential cheating on this side of things as well. I don't know. I haven't really seen any clips on this. People have said that Selly was, like, using a Cronus back in the day. I don't know whether that's true. I haven't, like, seen any full evidence of that, but it's been definitely discussed, and some people said that Shifty was cheating back in the day as well. I don't no, like so many people are cheating in some form or another, it's just almost impossible to say. But I don't think it would be the first time that Activision are paying out cheaters if that was the case. So I don't really know any more details on that. But there's just drama everywhere. Off-season cheating discussions just simply don't go away. I don't think that was happening in this tournament at the very least. I would certainly hope that that's not the case. But um, it's probably not going to be the end of this drama. Now, this tournament, some would say, oh, you know, it could have been more entertaining if it was CDL versus Warzone. But I think generally it was a relatively enjoyable watch. And I think it should get better over time, especially if the final kind of saga of this is going to be actually CDL versus Warzone, which is really what we're here to see at the end of the day, I think. But um, look, it's a 20 for fun in the offseason. We've got to make the most of it while we can, because there aren't too many options like this out there. Wanted to congratulate Priester and his uh, new fiance as well. They're getting married. So congratulations to them both. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. So very much enjoyed to hear your thoughts and all this stuff in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Take care. And I'll see you next time.